Yo, what's going on YouTube? Tom Alley here. Um, I've kind of been hacking a little bit on the PS Vita and found something that was not being answered a lot regarding RetroArch on the PS Vita. Uh, this works for uh, software versions 3.60 up to 3.73. Um, and a lot of it has to do with toggling the menu and the save states uh, for the retro arc during gameplay. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to show you how to actually set that up real quick. Uh, this is going to be a short video just to show you guys how to do this because I haven't found it anywhere on how to do it. I just came across it and thought it would be a good little uh, piece of advice for you guys. Now just bear with me here. I'm holding my phone while I do this, so it's going to be hard with one hand. But if you go to your retro art, you go to your settings, and you go all the way. Where is that? Oh, right there. You go to input, and then you select the circle, and then you scroll all the way down to where it says hotkey binds. Okay. That is where you're going to access what does what during your gameplay. And then you can see right here it says menu toggle gamepad combo. When you select this, you push the circle to select it and you can change to what you press. I, I selected down and select because it's very simple. And then you push circle. And right here, if you don't actually want to do that, you can. there's a bunch of different settings here you can use um, to do some stuff, but it will actually take away from what your normal game configurations are. So, like, say if I were to choose load state and press the L pad up here, um, it will actually make it do that. It will actually load from that point if I push that button from the last save state. Uh, but once you once you've selected, I just found it easier to do that because you can do the, everything from this menu toggle. And I'll show you. Okay, so this is what we'll do. We'll select here. And then I will select down select. And then we'll go back, back. And you wanna go to your configuration after you do this. And you want to save it. The reason why you want to save it is so you don't have to do this every time. And then say I'm going to go, I've got all these different games on here. So let's just say I'm going to go to a recent one that I played. And that was the Wolverine right here. And I'm going to hit run. And we'll give this second just to boot up. And I'm just going to show you how to do it. And I apologize, it's going to be kind of hard for me to do it with one hand. But you can see right here, it done. I have an auto load from a previous save state. So, but if I want to access the menu, I'm going to push. Remember, I set it for select and down. And then right here, you go. You got all this. This is the same exact thing that was in that uh, input we was just at. Uh, right there is a state. There's a save state, so if you can create a save state, right there showing I have two different states. Um, there's a place I can load, which is the previous save state. And then right there's for cheats, overrides, etc. So uh, it comes really good handy. I haven't found anybody that actually covered this, so I hope this really helps you guys. Um, just let me know if this was helpful. In the comments below, if you'd like for me to go over anything else, I mean, I, I haven't really uploaded anything that has to do with hacking or anything, but I can. Uh, if you guys are interested in that, I'll try to do a better job with recording and everything. I just happened to find this out this morning, playing around with it. Uh, but just give me a like and, and any comments or questions you have, just feel free to put them in the comments and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Appreciate it. Thanks.